All right, so this video is uh, about lapping the valve. So what that means is um, essentially we're gonna take each valve and just clean the underside of the valve. I'm not worried about the, the little bit of carbon buildup on the back. There's not a lot of miles on this car. Um, so it, it after a, a thousand miles, it's gonna look exactly the same anyway. The most important part is the uh, this sort of uh, 45 degree or whatever angle that, that they uh, cut the valves to the seat. That angle right there, you can see it's kind of a little shiny, but it's also dull. So you get carbon build up on that as well um, as fuel sort of flows through there um, and it won't seal uh, on the valve seat. So there's a valve seat right here um, that matches the angle of that valve and it needs to be essentially polished to where this valve, when the springs pull it shut, it will, uh, it will seat uh, flush uh, on, that, uh, on the seat. And uh, the way we improve that seal uh, is actually quite simple. So, Walker, if you want to take the cap off of that and come over here and you just essentially want to put a little bit on my finger. So just squirt just a little bit there. That's plenty. Okay. So just a dot, really. <gasps> um, put, put one more. Just a dot right on my finger. That's plenty right there. Oh. More than enough. Take the valve and you just want to essentially just spin the valve with right on that uh right on that valve where the valve is cut you want to spin the valve and apply that compound um and if walker will hand me that tube um i i just like permatex valve grinding compound um it is uh number 8037 i think it's one of the more popular ones um if you want to hold on to that walker so once we apply, um, so once we apply here, I think it needs to be just a hair more on there so we can make sure we can go all the way around. Um, once we apply that compound to the valve, we've got what's called like a, a lapping tool. Um, this is a suction cup. You, can, I like the manual tool better than uh, they have a drill uh, adapter with a suction cup you can use, but I, I don't, I think that's too aggressive, especially on a newer generation motor. You don't want, uh, you don't really want to go too far with this. So, um, so what you do is you just suction cup down uh, the uh, tool to the valve and you gotta listen. So this actually, you need to be quiet. And if you listen, you'll hear the grinding. And as the, as the compound smooths out the surfaces, you'll hear it get quieter. You'll hear the tone change. So we need to wait for the air compressor to shut off. Unfortunately, that was terrible timing. Uh, once the air compressor shuts off, uh, I'll show you uh, maybe with the next valve how that works. But I'll go ahead and do one now. So to show you the technique. So, So you can hear it, and you'll, you'll hear the tone change, actually. And that's it. So we'll pull the valve up, and let's wipe the compound off. And we'll wipe the compound off of the valve seat itself. So that's important to get all the compound off. Um, so now, if you look at the valve... You can actually see the surface is cleaned. It's a much cleaner surface on that uh, angle that seats on the valve seat. You don't need much. Um, you don't want to take really any, any material off of there. You just want to clean the carbon off to where uh, you have a nice seat from the valve to the, uh, to, the, to the valve seat. I'm sorry, to the valve surface to the valve seat. Um, and when you turn it, you can feel, I mean, you can feel that it's nice and smooth with zero pressure. You can feel that seat uh, 
much, much, much nicer. So intake valve, we'll take the uh, larger suction cup. So we'll pull that up and I'm going to let Walker do one. So put this on your finger, put a dot on your finger. Okay. Hold it there go under. Oops. Yep. Hold on to it. What? Wipe it. <laughs> You'll get it. All right. Sorry. And just wipe it on the edge as I spin. Okay. Wipe it on the edge as I spin. The very tip top edge. Here you go. Do a little more. Just a little bit. Let's go. There you go. Wipe it on the edge. There you go. Just on the edge. You don't press hard. Just a little bit. Okay. Now take and essentially push down slightly, but then twist. There you go. You'll hear the tone change. Okay, that's it. It doesn't take much. So now, as we pull the valve up, take the towel and wipe underneath as I spin. Just wipe the edge. Okay, now wipe the valve seat. So clean up under there. Just wipe all the way around on that seat. Your little fingers will work a little better than mine. If you want to clean that surface where you see it's shiny. And I think you got a little, we got a little bit on there, so we need to get all that off, but we can do that later. But uh, yeah, get the back there, just clean all back up in there. There you go. All right. Um, go underneath the valve one more time. Let's make sure that um, get underneath. So take a clean part of the rag. You want to make sure you got a clean part and just hold it underneath as I spin just like that. We don't want to work harder than we need to. Okay, so that's really it. Um, if you look at it, you, you'll see a nice shiny surface um, on that that back cut on the uh, seat and uh, you can feel, I mean, as a valve, I mean, it, it's just a nice, smooth seat. You don't feel any kind of restrictions. Um, and that's it. That's how you lap valves. Got a little bit of material there under the spark plug. I like to keep spark plugs in as well when I'm working with any kind of material like this because uh, you can get the, this compound. Uh, or, for example, um, I actually took a Dremel and cleaned a lot of carbon off of the combustion chamber and then all the carbon off of the valves. Um, all of that material can get into the spark plug threads and cause a binding uh, and also uh, reduce the grounding ability on your spark plug. So, um, so that is uh, how you lap valves and increase the combustion efficiency of uh, internal combustion engines. So, you can do that on lawnmowers, um, any type of combustion engine with valves. So, uh, and that's it. Uh, we're going to do, me and Walker are going to do the last three cylinders. I've already done the other cylinder head last night. Um, and then once we finish these three, we are going to install, show you how to install the new uh, Texas Speed uh, 660 dual valve springs.